Here are five reasons why you shouldn't just write off Sprite Kit when you're going about making a game, especially if you are a hobby developer or a solo developer that's just trying to learn to code and get started, get your feet wet. Swift is a great language to start learning if you haven't had any experience with coding. It's very easy to learn, very readable. It's a modern language. It's been developed with more readable code, constantly developed by Apple. It's open source, so you know it's gonna be robust. On top of that, if you need a really easy way to get started with Swift, Apple makes an iPad app called Swift Playgrounds, which takes you through the basics of the language in a gamified way and it's really intuitive really easy to learn and teaches you not only swift as a language but some of the basic concepts of coding as well another big advantage of sprite kit is that it's very lightweight compared to some of these other platforms it's built right into xcode you just have to launch a project and get started you don't need anything else and that brings me to my next point which is that Sprite Kit simplifies your workflow. You just have to optimize for your the devices you're developing for. Maybe you're just developing for iPhones. Maybe you wanna add iPad support. It significantly reduces the amount of devices and screen sizes that you need to make sure your game works for. And by doing that, you're able to focus on writing good code and get your game out in front of people faster. Additionally, you don't have to worry about different marketplaces because you're only releasing to the App Store. So you don't have to worry about signing up for the Google Play Store or Steam or Epic Games, whatever stores you're not supporting, you don't have to sign up for. Yes, I know this is counterintuitive because you're limiting your audience. But if you're a hobby developer, audience probably isn't going to be your first priority. The first priority is learning to code and having fun while doing it. There's endless documentation out there for Sprite Kit. You have so many options available for you from the already mentioned Swift Playgrounds. There's also endless documentation that Apple has put out there. They have demo games, demo code. They do a fantastic job every year uh, with WWDC. Finally, there's more than enough power for any hobby developer to create the game that they want to create. It's a great platform and one that will undoubtedly get you very far in your game dev journey. With all that in mind, I think Sprite Kit is a great starting point for any hobby developer that wants to create a simple 2D game. Let me know in the comments below why you agree with me or disagree, and I'd be happy to have that discussion down there. And if you haven't seen last week's video, here it is. Give that a watch, it's a great one. Yes, Unreal Engine, yes, Unity, of course, they're great platforms. Next week, I'm gonna actually try and argue the counter argument, so get subscribed if you're not subscribed already, and I will see you there.